welcome students so far in this chapter we have understood the parts of the digestive system digestive glands and the most important the process of digestion of food inside the body in this video i'll be explaining to you how these digested products are being absorbed in the body so let's begin digestion and absorption absorption of digested products absorption of carbohydrates it's the first topic so the products of carbohydrate digestion is absorbed from intestine into the blood in the form of monosaccharides and these monosaccharides are basically chiefly hexoses for example glucose is there fructose is there mannose and galactose and two mechanisms are responsible for this absorption of monosaccharides one is active transport and second one is simple diffusion so active transport is occurring against concentration gradient that is why it is known as active transport absorption of amino acids and proteins so the dietary proteins are digested to their constituent known as amino acids so look into the diagram proteins are first broken down into large peptides and then small peptides and amino acids so these end products of protein digestion are then actively transported from the intestine look from the intestine to the blood okay next is fat absorption of fat fat is digested by the action of pancreatic lipase it is an enzyme so with the action of pancreatic lipase enzyme fat is digested and it is digested in the form of glycerol and fatty acids and sometimes monoacylglycerols are also produced these products of fat digestion enter where <coughs> mucosal cells of the small intestine in two forms what are these forms first is micelle what is micelle micelle is a uh, an aggregate you can call it an aggregate of fatty acid and monoacyl glycerols and these are water soluble particles what is formation of micelle doing it is helping in the absorption of free fatty acids and monoacyl glycerols from intestinal lumen into where into the epithelial cells by the process of simple diffusion and second is the bile salts okay so with the aid of bile salts what is happening fatty acids and glycerols are entering into the epithelial cells of the intestinal mucosa during their passage what is actually happening during their passage through the epithelial cells they are combining together okay they are combining together resulting in the resynthesis of triacyl glycerides okay so how this process is taking place look into the video the lining of small intestine is characterized by numerous small plicae circularis the plicae are lined with finger like villi have a look at the cross sectional view of villus now okay it contains a network of capillaries which surrounds a specialized lymphatic vessel known as lactin the epithelium of an intestinal wall is consist of columnar cells which are covered with microvilli now this increases the surface area of intestinal lining for efficient absorption okay so carbohydrate digestion is completed by enzymes in small intestine carbohydrates are absorbed by villi look into the video and enter the capillary so they are absorbed by the villi and then they are entering into the capillary fat digestion occurs primarily in small intestine and fat molecules are digested and absorbed into the epithelial cell of the villus fats are forming clusters known as chylomicrons and these pass into the lacteal and lymph carries these chylomicrons away from the villus now protein digestion is completed in small intestine as well 
proteins are first broken down into peptides and then into amino acids and these are absorbed into the villi and then into the capillary. If you have any query, just go to the website askiitins.com, click on the discussion board, select the category of your question type, type your question over there and get it answered from our experts, the experts of Ask ITNs within 24 to 48 hours free of cost. Okay students. So this was the last part of this chapter digestion and absorption. Let's have a quick look at the whole chapter. We have understood the various parts of the digestive system like the mouth, pharynx, esophagus, stomach, small intestine and large intestine. And then we also went through various digestive glands that are helping in the process of digestion. We have also understood the complete process of digestion of food and then in this last video I have explained you how various digested products like proteins, carbohydrates and fats are absorbed by the body and the waste material is being taken out from the body in the form of feces. If you want more lectures on biology, then stay tuned with askitens.com. Thank you.